Hi, I'm Pat Fallon, and this is who I am. And Russia will be, you know, if you're a pariah and you act like one, you gotta be treated like one. It's really the best way to put your hand on the pulse of the district that you wanna represent is talk to the folks directly. I grew up in a small town in Western Massachusetts called Pittsfield, and my parents taught us the value of a hard day's work and to really value uh, your employer and get an education. My parents were uh, school teachers, retired now. And uh, we did that, all three of my, uh, my me and my two sisters, uh, all graduated college because of the emphasis that my parents put on education. I always say when people ask this, we didn't have everything we wanted growing up, but we had everything we needed. We had a roof over our heads. We had you know food on the table. Yeah, there were times where I went to bed hungry, but not hungry in the sense of malnourished. We just didn't have enough food to eat that night. And the one thing though I will say, and I tell my parents we laugh about it now, we never bought regular milk. We bought uh, powdered milk, carnation powdered milk. And I hated that, and you add water to it. So when we were actually able to buy a gallon of milk, uh, it tasted, it, it could have been skim milk, it tasted like cream. It was so much better than the carnation milk. There's a lot of value to be said for humble beginnings because you appreciate everything uh, moving forward and what this country can offer you. There's bounties and there's blessings here if you choose to see it. And I was lucky enough to get into the University of Notre Dame. Not right off, they said no the first time. I got a rejection letter uh, out of college and then I went to the University of Massachusetts for one year and then uh, transferred into Notre Dame. They accepted me the second time, so second time's a charm. Uh, I was very fortunate in that Lou Holtz was there at the time and uh, tried out for the football team and played for Coach Holtz for a couple of years, uh, my junior and senior year. And we won the national championship my junior year. And so I want to thank uh, Rocket Ishmael and Ricky Waters and all the great players that gave me this ring because I was more of a participating fan. After uh, Notre Dame, it was a great experience. I went into the Air Force. They had paid for my college. I was an Air Force ROTC cadet. In fact, they asked me, they give you a dream sheet and they, they give you five choices. And I put Texas five times and I got Texas. I went into accounting and finance. I'm 22 years old. I'm in Wichita Falls, Texas at Shepard Air Force Base. And I'm talking to this gal. And she's writing down a, a series of questions, you know, for your payroll and all that. And she said, what state would you like to claim residency in? And I didn't know any better. I was a 22-year-old second lieutenant, and I sat up a little straighter, and I said, Massachusetts. And she put her pen down. She said, the state of Massachusetts has a 5.6% state income tax. The state of Texas does not have an income tax. What state would you like to claim residency in? So she picked the pen back up, and I said, Texas. And I've been here ever since, 30 years. Started an entrepreneurial career, again was fortunate. Was the business manager for Rudy Rudiger from the movie Rudy for a couple years. And that was a, a great experience in so much as I was in my 20s and he gave me an opportunity to be, um, you know, to sell his merchandise, books, I created a, an active wear line called Never Quit and put it into one word. And then I got to travel around and see every major country, or I'm sorry, every major city in North America, in the United States and Canada, which was really neat. I didn't have children at the time, and I just traveled around, so I met some great folks then. There was a little boy in 2015 that uh, received horrible news that he had gotten melloblastoma, which is a, a brain tumor. Survive, one year survivability is 5%. And then on October 15th, 2015, for whatever reason, I read a post, and it was Kimberly Wade, Johnny's mom, and she told the following story. She said she was sitting down with him on the couch, uh, petting him. He had, at this point, had 10 surgeries, I think um, uh, dozens of radiation treatments and chemotherapy. So he was fighting for his life and he was struggling and he was in tremendous pain. And she asked this now eight-year-old boy, if you could have one wish, what would it be? And he says, I just pray that no other child gets cancer. And that just hit me, you know, right in the heart. And then I said to myself, I have to do something to help this little boy. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna pray on it. And about maybe that summer, so four or five months prior to that, I had seen something uh, on ESPN about the World Marathon Challenge, where you run seven marathons uh, in seven days on all seven continents. You start in Antarctica and you finish in Australia. You know, I had never run anything like I ran a couple of 5Ks, that was it. But it was a majestic experience, one of the best things I've ever done in my life. A middle-aged guy that has never run a marathon, heck, never even run a 10K in my life, did something like that. I think it could get a lot of attention for pediatric can cancer research and awareness and give Johnny, and he, Johnny has a twin brother who's healthy physically, uh, Jackie, I could give those two boys a distraction. Do you believe in things greater than yourself or don't you? I believe that this country is greater than I am. I believe my 
family is greater than me, my friends, and of course, number one, God. If you believe in those things, then you have to live like that. And, and doing the things we talked about before, I think we, we can, and make the country better.